Oh, you look great. How are you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> well, surpri surprisingly, I've put some tutti on for you. I've put some makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, normally I'm just in my jammers and like no makeup, but I feel great. Obviously, the pain can be really bad at times, um, especially the abdominal pain. And today, more than ever, like my, the inside of my thighs where the wound is. I think the wound today, more than anything, and last night, it's really nipping together. So I've literally got to find comfy spots all the time to, to, to take the pain away. But one thing's for sure is, was it worth it? One hundred percent. I can cope with the pain. I can cope with the pain, and I can take the pain relief, the painkillers. You know, going back to when I first was on the show with you, and obviously with Jane. Jane remembers. I, I've never been that frightened. I think mm. for anything yeah. in, in my life before, so, and, so... and it took over me. But um, on the day of the actual operation, I just kind of went with it and put my hands into the, my, put myself into the hands of the specialist let them do what they do and they were they were phenomenal all the staff in my hospital really looked after me and and now it's sort of now it's my job to to go through the recovery period and lisa we had a little um obviously i was a bit worried about you i was like oh no it'll be fine um <laughs> and and texted you very quickly to check that you'd woken up but you said um, that you'd had quite yes. a bad reaction to one of the drugs that they gave you i mean without sort of naming it just tell us about what happened Absolutely. So obviously, my I came out of theatre on the on the Thursday around half past three. They'd obviously give me a load of pain relief and antibiotic during the operation. I got back to my my room. Then that night, they were giving me a lot of pain relief, and one they gave me, I had a horrendous reaction to. Um, it was really quite scary and quite daunting. Um, I felt like things were coming in on me, um, and it was quite hallucinogenic and I certainly won't be having that any ever ever again when I have my next part of the operation um but obviously I think at a time like that you've got to try with pain relief because the pain is horrendous and you're a bit in the situation where you're a bit like a guinea pig and so they they were trying things and this particular one I had really didn't agree with me um and the the staff kind of looked after me they put me on the oxygen and it was it was a feeling that basically i never want to experience again because everything was closing on me i was getting really hot and and i felt like i had i, I wasn't so kind of lucid my friend came to visit me i, I it's kind of i lost i lost a day and a half um, my other friend came with a beautiful present. When I came round, they said, I said, what's that? Where's that from? They said, oh, they came, Andrew came, bring you a present. No, no memory whatsoever. So everything wow. was really, really fragmented. Um, and obviously now I've realised what pain relief works for me, but I will not be having that stuff but again. But Lisa, uh, don't worry it's, about it's the horrible, pain now, really because horrible. you must surely, have you looked in the mirror or felt yourself to know, you know, to feel the difference. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. how did, it's you, incredible. Feel? How did yeah. you feel? The, was it emotional? Or was honestly, you like, oh my God, this just doesn't feel like me? Yeah, what, what was really weird, Katie, at first, right, was I've got a corset on now. When I first felt myself, um, it what, was really corset. weird in the sense of the swelling. Yeah, I've got a compression corset on. And I was stroking myself all the time, but... The shape that I asked for, and I, and I mentioned this when I was last on the show, um, I said I wanted to be a cello, and I'm completely a cello, and it's oh. the most incredible thing. <laughs> Everything's so tight. Everything's flat. <laughs> yeah, it's, there... it's great, and, and my legs. Is there lots more to do? Because I know that that oh, was the first part of the operation, but is there, there's another part, isn't there? Yeah, so... Yes, yeah, so this coming Thursday, I'm back with my specialist and he's going to decide when I'm going to have it done. But the next stage now is my breasts, the, the back fat on the back of my shoulders and obviously all the underarm. So I've kind of, I've done downstairs and now it's time <laughs> to do it. <laughs> Thank you.
Lisa, I've had so many comments from people for you. I haven't got time to read them all now, oh. but uh, Pam, just Pam, says, wonderful, Lisa, you are an inspiration to so many. We know you were so scared to have your surgery. We're so pleased that it went so well. Enjoy your new body. Um, and, Lisa, just looking at your I face... Am. Yeah, just looking <laughs> at your face... Uh, you look so happy. Any messages back to the hundreds of people that are getting in touch here? It's honestly, Ruth, it's incredible. Day by day, I'm having like hundreds, literally every day of people saying, good on you, you made the right decision. It's brilliant. And and it's those people, the viewers of Loose Women, that, that really helped me get through. It's It's been incredible. So thank you for sticking with me everyone and, and especially you girls you've been incredible to me and I'm I'm so 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 grateful, so grateful.